when we interact with other people, we take something from them, we give something to them. And so there is this permanent interchange and interplay and that we are all changed by the relationships we have. The idea arose in this piece of music initially from the aspect of the musical content. So the idea of a theme being a person, as it were, um, and that as that theme travels around, it evolves permanently. And then within the ensemble, so there's just three players, it's a nice, neat ensemble, they then become an analogy of the musical idea as well. So you just have a nice, neat subset of people sharing ideas around and the idea keeps changing and it never actually stays in one place. So there isn't a central theme and it doesn't have a variation as such, it just keeps growing. What I knew about the Sitkovetskys was that they have an incredible history. They're all child prodigies and they all went to the same school for gifted children. But the interesting thing about this three is that they had grown up together and stayed in touch. And so for them to be a trio now is a really um, interesting slice of history because they all have solo careers, which means that they're prodigiously gifted. So I was intrigued to see what it meant musically in terms of their relationship to each other. And certainly the, the little bit of time I've been able to spend with them now, there is uh, immediate sympathy between them at, at all levels. The Board of Music of Eva wanted to, uh, I don't know, celebrate or um, at least take note of the fact that I was turning 60. Um, and this is the way that Music of Eva celebrates things. You, you write some music or you put on a concert. Julian Burnside had been on the Board of Music of Eva for, for quite a few years. And he has always, um, uh, you know, made the offer to help Music of Eva with commissions when they can. He commissioned my string quintet, which was in 2009. And um, he was uh, very generously offered to commission this piano trio as well. So I've, I've known Julian now for, I guess, about 10 years. And, and obviously he's a terrific um, humanitarian and, and actually does things to help people <clears throat> from which he has nothing to gain. And uh, in a sense, my idea of making this piece about community was uh, my little feeble attempt to acknowledge Julian's incredible work.